Okay, everybody, so let's get started. So this is going to be a very quick tutorial because I didn't press record on my microphone when I did my intro and outro, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply some color corrector. This is by LA Girl, LA Girl Pro. And with my foundation brush, I'm just buffing this out, getting ready to apply my foundation. Next, I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation. This is the I Am Magic in the shade 340, also known as Kampala. And I'm focusing, to be honest with you guys, strictly on everywhere on my face but my forehead. I do apply very little bit on my forehead, but it's going to be covered up by the wig, so that's optional. You don't have to. Next, we're taking the I Am Magic Concealer. This is in the shade number 12, and I'm applying this underneath my eyes. I'm also going to put a little on top of my eyes to get ready for my eyeshadow application, and I'm moving it also down to the sides of my nose. Next, I'm taking the shade Rich Honey. This is a foundation stick by Tarte, and I'm using this for my contour. So just FYI, I'm going to tag my Shades Academy playlist somewhere in this video so you could catch up or brush up on your skills in case you need to have a refresher on how to apply any of these makeup techniques. Now with my sculpting brush, I'm just going to go ahead and buff out this contour. Don't forget to focus on your jawline. Storm has a very beautiful but well-defined and chiseled face. So we're trying to make it as chiseled as possible. At least I am because I'm really trying to capture her essence. This is optional, but I decided to contour my nose as well. Again, I'm really trying to focus on capturing everything that Storm possesses. And she has a very fine and chiseled face I'm trying to achieve the same now I'm going to go ahead and let that concealer dry down a little bit and get tacky so in the meantime I actually waited like about five to ten minutes so now you see me here blending everything out so I'm just focusing strictly on the contour right now I will get the rest of not the contour I'm sorry the concealer I will get the to the contour part later on in the tutorial Getting ready for eyeshadow, we're going to use the shade Midnight, and this is from the It's My Ray Ray BH Cosmetics collab. And with a fluffy detail brush, I'm focusing strictly onto the crease. Now, you need to take your time when it comes to the eyeshadow look because we're going for an exact shade as well as a shape. So just focus on building up slowly, but surely don't put too much on too soon. I'm taking that fluffy crease brush and I'm blending this out. So you see I'm strictly focusing on the crease and you see me like kind of tailing it out a little bit because I'm going for kind of like a cat eye look, but I'm not focusing too much on, you know, bringing it down towards the lid. Now I'm taking my Oldie But Goodie Vice 3 palette and this is in the shade Revolver. Going back to that fluffy detail brush, I'm going to put this also on top of the crease, but I'm, as you guys could also see, I'm moving it down a little bit onto the lid. We're going to take that same fluffy crease brush and blend and buff everything out. Again, being mindful of the shape that we're trying to achieve. I cannot stress enough, please, 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 build up slowly but surely and take your time apply and blend apply and blend going back to the it's my ray ray palette i'm taking that shade black beauty and with that same fluffy detail brush now you see I'm bringing everything down and focusing on the top of my lid. And again, we're applying a little by little so we can make sure we get the right coverage. And then you're going to see me, as you see here, use my fluffy crease brush to buff everything out. Now this is why I'm being very careful about the shape that I want. Again, you do not want to mess this up, especially because these are really deep colors we're using. You will have more than likely end up having to take it off and I don't want you to do that. Now this is optional. I took a shimmer shadow by MAC and I applied it on top of my lid. Off camera, I went ahead and put some more of that Black Beauty shadow on top just to really 
tie in that final look and then I'm focusing that black beauty on my lower lash line as you guys can see to finish off that eye look now I'm taking a silver liner pencil by NYX I'm getting so tongue-tied and then wrapping up the rest of my look so this is how you should look right now we have to focus on blush now so I'm taking my Abby and Zane with my powder brush and I'm focusing on I'm doing kind of like a contour as well as a blush again she has very defined cheekbones you can highlight that is optional but you don't have to but to wrap everything up I'm taking the diva lipstick by Mac as well as the night moth liner by Mac and that's how I'm wrapping up my lips you can make it shiny or not shiny I chose not to now you see everything wrapped up with the wig. You saw I also have some white contacts on. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.